And the great news is nobody's powerless. Each and every person can be part of saving our planet and they can start now. The Vivacious Vegan Ambassador, Jane Unchained Velez Mitchell, part two of three. Continue watching to find out more. Welcome to the second installment of our three-part show about the amazing Ms. Jane Velez Mitchell, the internationally renowned investigative journalist, best-selling author, and tireless vegan advocate. On today's program, Jane shares with us how she first became a vegan. When she happened to meet Mr. Howard Lehman, the former cattle rancher who switched to a plant-based lifestyle. I was a local news anchor working out of Paramount Studios and Howard Lyman, the cattle rancher turned vegan who wrote Mad Cowboy, sauntered in and I did an interview with him and he told me all about the horrors of the meat and dairy industry. And he and his publicist came out and they came to my desk after the interview and they said, we hear you're a vegetarian. And I said, yes. And they said, do you eat dairy? And I kind of hung my head and I said, yes. And he had just told me about the babies being ripped away from the mothers and the veal calves and the torture. And they looked at me and they pointed their finger right at my nose and they said, liquid meat, like that. That's the moment I went vegan. And that was about 23 years ago. Since that time, Jane has been working tirelessly to encourage the plant-based lifestyle and she believes there is an urgent need to make this switch. We are gonna change the world when we all do whatever it takes. Urgency, the clock is ticking. We are literally just years away from an ecological apocalypse. There will be literally, virtually no wildlife vertebrates, wild animals with bones left within a decade if we don't turn things around and switch to a plant-based culture. I mean, we are destroying the planet. And the solution is simply to eliminate the meat and dairy from our diet. It is the leading cause of climate change, the leading cause of habitat destruction, the leading cause of pollution, the leading cause of wildlife extinction, and the leading cause of human world hunger, and the leading cause of human disease. It's the big bad thing in our world, and we need to get rid of it. And the great news is we are now in the process of replacing it with something better. And that something better is delicious plant-based food that is sweeping the world. So there's so much happening in our movement right now. We are literally at the tipping point. Every day I wake up and I go on Yahoo News when I have my coffee and there's another story about veganism, about the Beyond Meat Burger, about the Impossible Whopper, about another fast food company adopting a vegan menu item, uh, about another big superstar going vegan. It's unbelievable the change is happening after decades of being in this movement and fighting and struggling and, and appealing to people. And now it's just happening like this miracle. And every day I wake up and I'm like, wow, we are living the dream right now. Jane Velez Mitchell's enthusiasm in spreading the vegan message is inspirational. Her website, Jane Unchained, now reaches more than 1 million people. However, she believes there's still more to be done. But we have to double down. Every single person who cares about animals, the planet, uh, their own health, this movement, we have the momentum. We have to double down and keep that momentum going. This is a crucial time. Every single person who wants to save this planet, go on social media. Every time you eat a vegan meal, put it on Instagram. Go live on Facebook. Go live on Instagram Live. Put it on your story. We need to flood social media with vegan content and normalize nonviolence, normalize veganism, normalize plant-based living, normalize shoes that are non-leather, normalize a compassionate lifestyle. And so that's, that's, that's my mission. 
And the great news is nobody's powerless. Each and every person can be part of saving our planet and they can start now. Yes, Jane, this is very true. Each one of us can help save the planet simply by adopting a plant-based lifestyle. We will take a moment to check out the latest delicious Lunch Break Live recipe on Jane Unchained. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our program. Jane and her team of volunteer contributors use every possible social platform to promote vegan living. Jane Unchained News Network uses every single platform. I've found that pretty much everybody has their favorite platform from which to start their content. And for us, it's Facebook because we go live on Facebook. We have the website, janeunchained.com, which is the hub where all the information is kept. We have a YouTube channel. I have 11,000 on LinkedIn, and there's a lot of influential people on LinkedIn. So I send that content to them too. And we have Instagram, which we're growing, and Instagram TV. And uh, we have a weekly radio show on Voice America Radio, which we simulcast on Facebook. And uh, that also goes on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. And we just finished a documentary called Countdown to Year Zero. Everybody needs to see Countdown to Year Zero. It is the most important subject. If the world is uninhabitable for humans, it's too hot to support human life, all the other issues will pale. We are looking at the fact that we're years away from an ecological apocalypse that is gonna cause massive chaos. Indeed, through floods, droughts, forest fires, hurricanes, tornadoes, etc., the climate crisis is the most pressing planetary issue we are facing. Many scientists, including the United Nations, have identified animal livestock raising as a root cause of climate change. We're only 7.7 .7 billion humans. We raise and kill at least 70 billion land animals, not including fish every year. Those animals eat a lot more than we do. They, their carbon footprint is what's destroying our planet. And now the mainstream media is finally, finally having to come to terms. There's been many, many studies that connect animal agriculture with climate change. There are farmers in that area of Latin America who for generation after generation have lived off the land, have tilled their own land. They can't do it anymore because their land is no longer temperate. They go from extreme drought to extreme wind to extreme rain. They cannot grow their crops on their land anymore. So they are flocking to the cities up north. Who is making that land intemperate? Us with our consumerism and our meat and dairy consumption. Less than a third of the earth's surface is land. Three quarters of the agricultural land is used for animal agriculture. We are literally giving planet earth a buzz cut to grow crops, not to feed people, but to feed animals. We are fattening up pigs and cows while children die of starvation and malnutrition in third world countries. And then we have the audacity to call ourselves humanitarians and animal lovers. So that's what Countdown to Year Zero is all about. What we really need to do is look in the mirror and say, I'm responsible for climate change. This film, Countdown to Year Zero, which is gonna be on Amazon Prime, yes! is directed at environmentalists, conservationists, feminist sweet animals who are not living their values, their values of compassion. Jane Velez Mitchell believes a documentary Countdown to Year Zero will play an important role in creating a vegan world. It is already winning accolades from viewers. We need to create a vegan world by 2026 and Dr. Celeste Rao has a plan. He's using the same methodology that they used to create the internet, which basically was something everybody thought they absolutely have to have to survive in eight short years. And he's saying we can use the same methodology 
to create a plant-based world by 2026. My documentary focuses on him. I went with him to the National Animal Rights Conference. We showed it. We got a massive reception. You know, people jumped up from their seats and were applauding. It was really well received. We're showing it at the International Animal Rights Conference in Luxembourg. Dr. Celeste Rao is traveling there to speak to people. We need everybody to get on board and we can hit the tipping point in short order. We really can. Wow, Jane Velez Mitchell, what great news that we're near the tipping point for an all vegan world. This is exciting. On October 13, 2019, Supreme Master Ching Hai also shared some happy news from the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, who recommended that to halt global warming, we must eat less meat. The United Nations and all the countries in the world signed the less meat protocol. No? Mm. So it's becoming official now. I hope they just go forward, become meatless. I really thank the United Nations and all the leaders of all the countries for their wise decision. And uh, we pray that they continue to be wise implementing what they have written and signed. Thank you, United Nations and all the nations. God bless you forever, and we love you. Ms. Jane Velez Mitchell and all contributors, you are truly helping to make a vegan world a reality. In divine blessings, May your admirable efforts meet with even greater success in the future. To learn more about Jane Unchained, please visit janeunchained.com.